What a career. Um, you were recently named alongside Lauren Jackson and Michelle Sims in the top 15 best of all time WNBL players. Um, for starters, that's a round of applause for that. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it feels really special to be recognised by your teammates and uh, I guess it's super special when it's from two legends, uh, as in Timsey and Loz over there. So yeah, it felt really special. Obviously we were seeing where the Ovals are so successful and have been for a long time and women's basketball has been popular for a long time, but there were tough times initially and you had to burst through some barriers. Um, explain what that was like and to see what we've got now where a lot of young girls are playing basketball. Yeah, like it, you know, it's, it has, it's, it's been a, a really tough journey for, you know, a, and an amazing journey at the same time. Like so many amazing memories for Sydney. We held the 1994 uh, World Championships and that was such an incredible time in Sydney. You know, I think Sydney itself ran uh, an incredible championships. We finished fourth and I think really established the Opals as a power in world basketball. So um, yeah, so that was, I think, where it all really began to take off. So yeah, it was awesome. And a lot of people don't realise that the amount of men that have played in the NBA, but more women have played in the WNBA. Um, what do you think that, that says about women's basketball in Australia? <laughs> oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to compare, you know. It's not about comparing. It's just, you know, it's a, we just want to support everyone, but I think basketball in general, you know, we've created some incredible athletes and, you know, we're just proud of everyone who makes it to that level. You know, it's awesome. As I said, you achieved a lot with the Opals, but is there, a, and, and travelled a lot as well, is there, a, is there a country or a moment, a championship that stands out? Well, you know, to wear the green and gold in your home country, there's absolutely nothing like it. And the World Championships in 94 was special, but um, 2000 Olympics was absolutely incredible. The energy in Sydney was electric, and I guess for me it was super special. I was actually dropped from the Australian team two years prior, and uh, basically told to hang up my basketball boots, and that was it. You're done, you'll never play for Australia again. So I had a very tough journey so I didn't actually believe that. I was told that. I didn't believe that. But I had a very tough journey to. It was a roller coaster to make it back, and I eventually made it. And uh, to be a part of that, and a part of that incredible Olympics was uh, was yeah, just super special. What makes the Opals so special? We hear stories about the Boomers all the time, but the Opals so much success. What's the camaraderie like, and why are you successful in your from your point of view? Yeah, well, you said it right there, the camaraderie, the culture, everything. It's all about the culture. It's, um, and what I can remember is from when Tom Ma started coaching the Opals, and we, um, we, when we started playing, we had a set of themes that we lived and died by, basically. So when that was always a part of our game, and so when things weren't going well, we came back to our themes, we worked it out, and it was the culture of the team. You know, we were all friends. Yeah, it was awesome. And obviously, so many people throughout your career have helped you. Anyone in particular that you'd like to thank? Oh, my beautiful mum, who's sitting here tonight, uh, and my dad, of course, he's not here, so bad luck, Brian. But um, <laughs> my, my mum and dad, you know, they gave me everything, they supported me, and, you know, it's like, uh, it was a long time ago when I was playing basketball, and I think I've told on many occasions you, you couldn't play as a professional, but mum and dad just said, follow your dreams. If that's what you want to do, we're always here to support you. If it doesn't work out, we're here. So I was, you know, I'm so blessed to have that from my mum. So thanks, mum.